Hello, good morning, everyone. Hope you guys can hear me. How's your morning over there? You can see we have a few people on the call, but uh, maybe you can just wait one minute for them to join. But if you know maybe someone who hasn't joined and you have been in touch, maybe you can reach out to him or her so that we can start. How's the music? Let me know if you can hear me in the chat box or if you're with me. How's the vibes? How's your energy level, guys? In the chat box, is it right on a rate of 10? Is it 9? Is it 5? Is it 8? 8. All right. Hope it's going to be 10 in a few minutes. Yeah, so um, let me see if there's anyone from the Academy team with announcement before we start. Any announcement? I think we all have announcement uh, about what I can announce to you guys. Uh, I've been reaching people uh, on Slack, like inbox, but they haven't been. I don't know, maybe if they don't check the Slack inbox, but uh, they sometimes we need your pictures. And maybe in, in terms when you sometimes when you maybe we want to give you a badge, we want, we want to appreciate your good work, then we announce like we we do recognize you, like we design a poster. So, I've been reaching out to some people to submit their pictures, but some don't do that, don't submit pictures. So I'm going to send you um, a form where you can upload your pictures, like any pictures, apart from the other picture from the office, which even some people didn't, didn't submit. I think maybe if you haven't submitted yet, uh, the link is still open. You can submit your picture in your office because we need them to use, we need to use them. So this one is different. It's just like your picture, your any picture like you need, maybe you think you can use it on a flyer, on a poster, just in any, any occasion, either maybe badges or any other use. So you can submit your pictures. Uh, I think maybe uh, you understand that, right? Yeah. So I think there's no other announcement. Maybe apart from that, we have guest talk, female guest talk. So you better get ready. You're going to be having guest talk with uh, with Hildia. So I will announce this on uh, I will announce this on on Slack, and I'll also give you um, her bio. So people said they joined late. Uh, I was talking about uh, submitting your picture. There's two 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 kinds of pictures. The one in your office. Like send us just yes, picture in your office. I will send the link again, Patrick, and maybe another picture, just just a random picture. In the case maybe we need to host you at the host seat, there's no need to come and ask you a picture. We just ask you if you're available. Then I'll be having the picture. We'll just be selecting. What you need is just you. I mean your picture and you name it your name. That will be enough. Yeah. Thank you. So um, I think we can start now. Um, Let's see uh, what's the challenge so far, what's the brokers, how are you feeling on the third day of the week, if there's any challenge so far or maybe anything else you'd like to tell us or any question you have, then you can raise your, your hand up and then we go on. Anyone? Yes, is here. So hi, uh, everybody. Hi, hi Emilia. Uh, so I... I just want to ask about the uh, a technical part. Can I do that? Is there a technical uh, team uh, in this in this talk? I was I was curious about the interim report, and uh, they, uh, you know, it it wasn't very clear to me what exactly we are uh, supposed to report to. Uh, other than that, maybe other students, uh, other trainees can even ask answer that question. But other than that. Uh, it's all good. I've been trying to uh, decouple what it really means to use DBT and their flow, uh, what their differences are, and so on. Uh, yeah, that's all. Thanks. Okay. Is there any training maybe you have uh, who can uh, help him for which or to take input to him? I think we have some here. If maybe you think you can assist him now. Uh, I think maybe you had a question, right? Anyone? 
Okay. Uh, I think Fizer, did you did you raise that on on Slack? Please. Okay, well, I was muted. Uh, I was talking about it. Sorry. Uh, actually, I didn't because the some, the deadline is uh, not the deadline is for today at midnight, so I have time. I will maybe ask it on Slack. Okay. Okay. You can consider asking on 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 Slack. I think they will help you like very soon directly. Yeah. Okay, anyone else would like to share uh, any challenge in your brokers? Your hands, yes, and no. Nothing else, we can't hear you. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Uh, I have I have had some blockers, and I would like if somebody has fixed that. I would like the, somebody to help me. Uh, I can I can't install uh, the Postgre connector for Python. You can access uh, Python. Like, yeah, for Python, uh, the Postgre the Postgre SQL connector for Python. I couldn't be able to install it. Yeah, I've like I've uh, I've been trying like till morning. Like I haven't slept at all, and uh, still haven't be able to install it correctly. Doesn't so that's a huge broker for me. Like, I'm stuck there like, for the past eight hours or nine hours. Okay. Uh, anyone from the trainee, maybe you can assist on that. Please, I saw your hand raised. Do you have anything maybe to assist him? Uh, it's more like a little question, not an assessment. As uh, are you trying to uh, use the the SQL alchemy thing we talked about earlier? Yeah, yeah, uh, and it requires a package for uh, the connector. There is a connector. Yeah, the oh, one oh, where oh. you give it like a string for the engine, right? Yeah, yeah, it's not about the engine. Like uh, when you give it an engine, the the connection string. Uh, at the, it requires a package to connect actually. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, so what what exactly did the what exactly is the error you are getting? Uh, it's a GCC error. Like uh, I I think I have uh, somehow a C plus plus file missing or I don't know. Like I've never seen that error while installing a package. And I've tried to Google things. I've tried to install development tools for Python, uh, library tools for Python, but I still I couldn't be able to. Wow. Okay. Two, two more questions. Uh, what what is your operating system, and what exactly is the name of the uh, connector? Uh, my OS is uh, Kali Kali Linux. Uh, and my, the package name is like Py2 Postgre, I guess. Let me check. Okay, let me uh, see. What I can do. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. So it's high I don't know. Okay. You can check. But did you also maybe try to raise it on on Slack? Uh, apparently not. Uh, I didn't do that still. Okay. Uh, okay. As you're checking, uh, maybe we we can hear from Anyom Chiza. Good morning. Good uh, morning. Yes. Uh, I'm facing some blockers about the installing the airflow. So I'm using Mac. So I'm asking if someone can help me about installing the airflow on Mac because I've seen many, many resources talking about uh, Windows and Linux. So I would like to ask if someone can help me. Thank you. Okay, anyone who can assist her? Anyone? 
new uh, did you also uh, maybe try raise that on Slack? Um, get any, any there? Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Yes. Okay, I think the technical team will reach out to you as soon as possible. But anyone from the trainee who think maybe can have any suggestion or any any assistance on that, you you can maybe uh, say something. I can see. Ekbazgi, I don't know if I pronounce your name really correctly. Uh, are you going to assist Nyomkiza or you are you, you you have any broker as well? Uh, okay, hi. Uh, just actually, I'm working on Windows, so I can't. Uh, I I don't know how I can help her. So I'm working on Windows, so I don't know on Mac. So uh, I do have some questions regarding the. Uh, so uh, I was trying to figure the uh, tools since I'm working on Windows, and uh, what I have also I have also tried to see the non technical part. So I am not clear with the non technical part uh, also. So if anyone is clear what is going to be done, uh, I'm happy to listen. Okay uh let me check i think we have uh did you also try to raise it on slack maybe i'll just stick on that because i think uh, you get uh, assistance directly on slack if you have tried that i don't know but anyone maybe here would love to help um like so far we have uh new mkiza hasn't gotten uh any assistance i think you can also uh, try to raise that on slack and you can tag any you know teacher there maybe the gaga can help me raise the hand okay okay let's hear from the gaga good morning good morning uh i think the challenge that uh, new Mekiza is facing is i have also faced that problem i have uh, finally managed to install the airflow uh it, it would be better if she could install it with the docker using docker docker installation because when you try installing it with a python like pip uh, inst installation it will not work because i don't know there is a package that uh, that will not work on the amd64 which is basically developed for 86 hardware architecture so there is uh, a guideline for the installation using the docker i will send her the link when she could try that okay thank you that's very really good thank you Degaga. okay um anyone with any broker or any, any challenge so far But yeah, uh, I think you can raise uh, your issue on, on on Slack. I think you get uh, assistance directly there. I didn't understand it really well, but okay, okay, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can just text it there, then uh, we assist you. Thank you. Okay, Nathaniel, you want to say something? Yeah, uh, we were asked to submit a public key, and I was wondering if that was for this project. I'm having a really hard time, like running Airflow on my laptop. Like it keeps freezing. Uh, yeah, this week's been like issue over an issue. But yeah, uh, I believe I'll manage to finish it. But uh, I was wondering if that was for this challenge, the public key one. Okay, since when? The, we we submitted a public key like. Uh, yesterday and the day before that yes. okay uh, and i was wondering if that was for this project okay okay anyone from trainees who think uh, they can assist on that an assistant from trainees like how, how did you go about that anyone else maybe you can share Okay, uh, I think you can also maybe uh, consider 
reaching out to reaching out on Slack, you get assistance directly. I've reached out, reached out to technical team. They will, they will, they will help you, right? The channel technical support, right? Just reach out to technical support, then they, they will help you. Yeah. All right. So, uh, anyone else with any broker, any challenge, maybe anything you want to say? So far, how is it inside? Yes, Yonis. Okay, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, yesterday was a little bit tough for me as well. I mean, I was having a problem in selling air flow. So, as per recommendation from now home, I just uh, we install the Docker and Airflow everything, and then it uh, didn't work last night. But uh, surprisingly, it worked this morning using uh, running the Docker. Yet uh, I still have a problem on uh, the, the directors that was created for Airflow. The docs, if can, if someone can help me, the docs plugin and logs folders are loaded. I don't know why it's. Uh, just changing the permission all of the sudden. Now I can't uh, create a file inside them. That's the problem I'm, uh, I'm just facing. Hopefully they seem to be easier than the yesterday's challenge. Mm -hmm. Probably I will uh, solve it or someone can help me if uh, you do have passed through that uh, errors. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Anyone, anyone to help you ones? Anyone maybe who have it, another perspective on that issue? How did you go about it? Anyone to help on uh, your hands? Come again. I was asking maybe is is there anyone else who, who would love to help you or maybe have to say something about the other issue? Yeah, that would be helpful. Yeah. I think on Slack is more can easy. Like, can yes, please. Yes, Nolos, we can hear you. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, you honest to have you using Docker, right? Maybe you can uh, transfer that for the permission. And maybe you can. Uh, I can't clearly hear you on this. Okay. Uh, should I contact you in uh, Slack? Uh, in all those, I think we can hardly okay. hear you. you. You're kind of breaking. Maybe, Ioannis, you can reach, reach out to her on Slack. I will reach out to her. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Sure, thank you. Yeah. Okay, anyone else would love to share how was yesterday? What's the challenge so far in the broker? Yes, Janet. Okay, good morning. Uh, uh, in yesterday's uh, 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 assignment, I have also a blocker to install uh, Airflow on Windows. Uh, ask it on Slack and uh, uh, they support me. Uh, they send me some uh, steps to follow. Then I followed that steps, uh, but still not working well. Uh, I think I, that they uh, told me to install the Ubuntu on Windows WSL. Uh, I tried to install it this morning, but it makes my uh, PC easy. <laughs> I'll try it. That's my blocker. If anyone can face that and support me, I'm so happy. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Any any support from the trainees or anyone else would love to help get it on that? Sorry, what was the blocker? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I think I didn't understand. It. it told me that to follow some steps um, to install uh, the uh, airflow before that, uh, how Docker and uh, that I, I follow that steps. 
but it doesn't work. But uh, I don't remember someone. It's told me to install Ubuntu on the window. I, I tried to install that. It is installed, but uh, it, it makes my PC busy. Uh, and if is any, any other yeah, options? No. What? On which screen are you on window? Uh, I installed Docker. Docker not uh, worked uh, well. But then I left that and uh, reinstalled it. And I tried to install Ubuntu on. The, I installed WSL and uh, on that I installed Ubuntu. On that, that's uh, the step I followed. Uh, on which like uh, specific step uh, did you get stuck on, or like uh, each step like went well, but end up not working yeah uh, when i install uh, docker uh, the docker is installed very well uh, uh, but it the uh, it doesn't run when i initialize the desktop uh, docker uh, does initialize and run there is a problem it shows up and uh, uh, i can't uh, solve that that's yeah. the Docker part. Have you successfully installed, I mean, uh, set up WSL2 first? Yes, uh, yes, I set up WSL uh, now, uh, and I left the Docker, and I try to install Ubuntu now. Yeah, yeah, Ubuntu is uh, actually must to, like, uh, you need uh, one uh, Linux distro in order to work on WSL2. So, like, make sure you also, like, uh, your Ubuntu is working on... Uh, properly in WSL2. Uh, the, actually, the link I uh, put on that uh, trade, uh, Slack trade, uh, is, uh, the step, it has all the steps you needed to like configure it uh, properly. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, like, I followed that steps, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah but the Ubuntu one makes my B PC somehow busy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Needs, if if that if if there is another options <laughs> instead yeah, of working on that, that's my question. Yeah, it requires a lot of memory. Uh, that's a problem. If you have a very like little memory in your computer, it's it's going to be very difficult. So like the best way to go about would be like installing the Linux fully, like uh, upon any window, and going for Linux. Uh, yeah. But if you want to enjoy the Windows environment as well as the Linux uh, environment, like WSL is way to go to. But like if you have a mem memory constraints, I would advise you to like go for Linux if you want to use Docker and uh, mm -hmm. other stuff. I don't. I don't think for this I can do that for the assignment. I'll try. Thank you so yes. much for your advice. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. We'll continue yeah. chatting on the trade, maybe. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I will write on the Slack, uh, and if you have another suggestions, uh, uh, we can discuss on Slack. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. All right. Thank you, Annette. Okay. I can see uh, Birhanu. Birhanu, your hand is raised. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, from my side yesterday, I I was uh, starting uh, configuring the uh, uh, Docker Compose within the Airflow and uh, configure the Postgres. That was good. It's to work properly. Uh, but in the today morning, I faced a problem within the uh, DPT when I work or I work on the Ubuntu. Uh, I think the problem the when the generate the metadata it's not uh, uh, generated the metadata so that is a blocker from my side if anyone who have uh, experience with that uh, please uh, try to help me uh, that is all thank you okay okay please you want to say something about that Actually, I had a question of my own. Okay. Uh, I didn't, also, I didn't understand what he meant by the metadata. When, so, when, okay. When, when I try to install using the pip, 
is uh, write the error. That means it doesn't install the DBT. Oh, you're using Windows or are you using Linux environment? I'm, I'm using Ubuntu. Oh, sorry. Maybe uh, maybe we can help out from Slack because it's, it's actually... Uh, yeah, maybe let's do this on Slack. Okay, thank you. Okay. It's more technical thing. And my question was, uh, I... I didn't know about Airflow and DBT prior to this week's challenge. And as I come the, across this uh, concepts, maybe if anybody knew about these concepts uh, before this week, I, I don't seem to, I actually understand what they do, but I don't actually understand what their difference is because uh, I think we can do almost everything using Airflow, but the part that DBT is kind of, for me, as I come to understand it, is yeah. kind of less uh, uh, functional than Airflow because Airflow can use these bash operators, these Python operators while, it's all, It's I'm not saying this is right, but I, this is my understanding of it. But the DBT uh, does things related to SQL which Airflow can also do. So maybe if somebody really understands what their difference is and why we are using both of them and why we need to use one of them other than the other, maybe somebody can uh, quickly summarize that. I, I don't I don't really think this is only my question. I think lots of us have this question. So that okay. would be really helpful. Okay. Anyone maybe who understood it, who can shed more light on that from trainees? You have any perspective about that, or maybe any anything you can you can help and assist from trainees? Maybe if none, I think we can also consider Slack. Uh, yes, you can highlight your issue uh, on Slack. Just type it in the, that channel, the technical support. Then you get uh, your support directly. Yeah, I think I need want to say something. Is it maybe another broker or maybe you want to say something on your own or you want to help on that as well? No, maybe like if it helps like my understanding of the, the, the difference between like, I mean, let me just uh, say the, using the advantage of using DBT instead of like uh, going all in all with Airflow it would be, I mean, the great advantage would be uh, if you use DBT to transform data from your like data warehouse to like uh, to do uh, like different sort of tasks on your data, it would be a very like wise decision because it has a lot of, lots of like functionalities uh, you can uh, do on it. Uh, for, for first, like for most, you will get a very structured way of accessing the data and transforming it. Uh, the second important uh, advantage uh, would be uh, you get also a documentation uh, where you can like uh, to see or to, to show uh, how your body is organized and everything. So it, it would be very wise to use DBT for that. Although like as you, as you mentioned, like you can technically use Airflow to do scriptings. But like uh, my understanding of Airflow is just uh, uh, we use it to orchestrate things or tasks to schedule them and do uh, uh, the, execute those tasks throughout some kind of chron or uh, time interval or like based on an event. So like we could trigger that event when that event is like triggered, we could do some actions. That action uh, can also be like a DBT operation. Uh, yeah, that, that's the uh, thing. Oh yeah, so we can also uh, move this pipeline of tasks that uh, are done in, so we can orchestrate these uh, tasks. We can also do the DBT things using Airflow, I think. I think Airflow is more like the uh, the structure, the pipeline type of uh, thing, while DBT is mostly about the transformation, the logging, 
and the uh, what did you say the documentation part of things maybe I, I, I it right. exactly yeah yeah that's what i understand actually again it could be uh, the other way but like that's my understanding and like uh, as, yeah. as as you like uh, i have the similar experience like i've never even heard of the two uh, uh, things like dbt either dbt or uh airflow before this week challenge yeah so i might be wrong no actually that's uh, that's actually the way to go if you if we if you don't know anything about these concepts basically the first and proper way is to be confused otherwise you, i think you didn't get it if you're not confused if you think you get it in the first try i think you didn't get it so maybe i think we are on the right path so yeah let's see what happens today and we maybe we can discuss it more tomorrow or the day after sure sure all right thank you very much internet i think now that one is clear uh, maybe for the rest you can share also on slack maybe there can also help on that i think yeah uh anyone who would well like to share how was yesterday and the broker so far in the challenge anyone else before we start the hot seat any broker so far yes Annet. so uh i have one question but uh uh, yeah, I have one question, but it's not, uh, it's on uh, career challenge. So uh, can you, can someone uh, summarize like what is exactly what we need to do? Like, I don't, uh, I, I don't think I understand it well. And uh, my progress so far, like yesterday, I've been like uh, working with uh, Docker and Airflow, trying to understand Airflow and DBT and also like uh, playing around with playing around with them like with example codes stuff like that I haven't been like actually working on the actual task uh, so that that was that's my progress but if someone can like explain what the technical challenge i mean the career challenge uh, for this week is i would appreciate it and also, like, if uh, anyone understood the data set that we're going to be working on this, the uh, drone data that was collected, I mean, uh, has anyone, like, get the idea of the data? I mean, I, I downloaded the data, and when I see the CSV, it's just a bunch of numbers, and I couldn't quite get it. There is also, there is, a, of course, a document to uh, understand, uh, I mean, the, to, re to refer to understand that. I haven't looked at it yet, but like to just uh, uh, shorten my path, like if someone tell me the data, I would appreciate that about the data. All right, all right. Uh, uh, Fis, you want to help him maybe on that? Yeah, maybe Patrick uh, can <clears throat> go on and I'm just opening my... Uh, Environment okay. to see about the data, so maybe Patrick can go or Tilistic okay. can go. Patrick, okay. good morning. Good morning. So, um, first of all, about um about uh, data Alex talked about, about uh, is uh, are you talking about um, the data we downloaded from Pneuma? Is it how it's called? Yes, yes. So, uh, probably uh, it, it was. First, difficult to download them because it kept getting uh, the era or coming empty. So Fish sent me uh, the the data, but it was one column, I guess. Is that the same case? Yes. Yeah. So um, so what what I had to uh, what I had to do is uh, I went ahead and divided the, the data into uh, by by comma. By by same is it same column or a comma? I don't know. But uh oh my it, like yes, to be is like separated yeah, yeah. yeah, so uh it ended up being like five columns, I guess, and and, and nine hundred and twenty something rows. So I can get uh, I can I can send you a, a line of code if you want to on, on, on Slack. So I that's what I did. It. 
Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Sure. That's also exactly what I did. Separate them by semicolon. Yeah. Great, great. Because it's, it's, kind, it's kind of crowded, as you said. So um, okay. also um, about yesterday, uh, I can uh, went uh, went through the the challenge, did some uh, uh, clean the data, did uh, what uh, what I uh, I told Alexander. Then uh, today early in the morning, I uh, I went ahead, signed the contract uh, and paid the money. So I think now I'm good and I'm ready to to, pay, uh, to submit the challenge by the end of today's uh, uh, today and the rest of the the month. Yeah, thank you. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Uh, uh, Tagisi, you want to say something? The guesty. You can see your hand raised. Okay. I don't know if you might have it. Okay. Okay, Nathaniel. Okay. Uh, I just have, uh, I just wanted to ask, like, if everybody tries to do the same show as me. Uh, uh, when I uh, try to somehow do a media on the data, uh, it has 10 columns, I think, uh, 10 columns till the time column. And after that, it has also another columns, not, not labeled columns, but values separated with the semicolon. So uh, how did they load that one? Uh, I, just, I just do uh, like, I just trimmed the extra columns, but am I right? Am I wrong? I was confused then. I was just to want to. Uh, ten columns. Did you say ten columns? Yeah, my data has ten columns. By did you separate ten it using semicolons? For example, timestamp, uh, timestamp, long, lat, uh, accuracy. Yeah, such kinds of columns. They are added up like ten. And after that, I have a bunch of data separated with a semicolon in a single row, but they don't have a labeled column. They don't have a column at all. Which, which data set did you download in the first place? I downloaded like uh, the five, I think drone five. The drone five with the uh, nine up to 930, I guess. Maybe that's I think the, you can, maybe that's, yeah. Ours I think you can go ahead and stuff. download the one fish sent on Slack. That will be, will get the job done, I guess. No, no, actually, I don't think that's the right way because his, uh, his data set contains more uh, information. Maybe that's, the, that's actually nice to have more information in a data set. So maybe I will download it and see yeah. what you want. I've tried to download all the drone data. It was about two gigabytes. So I decided just to download a single drone data, which was about like 300 megs. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. All right. The, Anyone uh, else? Yes, Annette, you want to say something? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I download, I actually downloaded the, I downloaded the drone one data. So uh, is that the case for Fish and Patrick? So like uh, that data doesn't contain uh, uh, those columns as uh, as in uh, Drone 5. But maybe let, let me try to download Drone 5 uh, so that I could get uh, those columns and like work on that. Because like having those columns would help, I guess. So like when you download Netanel, when you download it, like uh, it came with those columns uh or like uh you created them yeah it, it came with those columns like i think the, the drone five is uh, somehow the wider one uh yeah because that's why i choose drone five just i was checking the some of the areas and i think drone five is like some of the wider one from uh, all of the drone five eight and nine are somehow the wider ones 
so i just choose them and i think the 9 up to 9 30 i guess i'm not really sure but i choose the 9 up to 9 30 for the time and for the date i think the way or 24 or 29 i'm not really sure about that but i'm sure about the drone one it was five drone five okay thank you i'll check that but, but I, uh, Nathaniel, you said you said um, you downloaded two gigabytes of data, right? No, I, I tried uh, to download it, but it kept failing. Like it, it will reach like about two two gigabytes, and it it will completely fail. So I, what I have to do was just download one drone data. That's kind of strange, but I'll try okay. to download it again and see. You. Okay, okay. I think Nathaniel. Yeah, yeah, sorry to interrupt. But uh, I think I figured out uh, what the status means. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank constant for each cars, but the next six columns are repeated within a time manner. So uh, you'll take the first four columns, that's uh, the parts description. Then the, the next six columns, the next six, uh, am I audible? Yeah, you are audible, uh, I'm listening. So the next six columns will tell you the data from the drone with uh, a certain time, then you will repeat those data again with a six columns interval. Do you know what I mean? Uh, not quite, but uh, you mean the repeated ones are like the data with no column and so on? That don't have yeah. any... Uh, the columns with no no labels will tell you the bronze data with, uh, with the time. Uh, for example, let me share my screen and okay. show you something. Okay. But in the meantime, we can also share this on Slack, right? Like any challenge, any brokers on Slack, I think in, in technical support, we'll be able to get uh, assistance. Nathaniel, if you, in case you're speaking, we, we can't hear you. Okay. I mean, Mr. Richard. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to share my screen. Uh, okay, cool. As we're approaching to hot seat. Okay. Uh, maybe I will just send it to the Slack group. Okay. If we're in short of time. Yeah. But, but we still have some minutes. I think we still have a few. Like, do you think can use like one or two minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Wait a second, sorry. Okay, we can go on. Can you see my screen? Not yet. Oh, well, no. It's loading here. Yeah. We can see this one. Okay. So, uh, these four columns, the car, uh, this is the ID, the track ID, the car type, travel distance, and the average speed tells you information about the car. But the next six columns, one, two, three, four, five, six, will tell you the latitude, longitude, speed, uh, longitude, uh, I don't know what this means, and this information at this time. Uh, so at 0, 0.00 time. Then the next six columns again, will tell you this information at 0. 0.4 time. 
and you'll go on. So you, you'll have to split each data into six data frames or six columns each. Uh, is that clear? Yeah, yeah, that's clear. Thank you. But excuse me, not now. Okay. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Uh, you want to say something? Yes, I, I, I have actually a question for that now. I want to know how I'm trying to make the columns, but I'm not able to do it. Uh, maybe I can share you my method. It's just quite simple, it's not that complicated. Okay. okay. All right, thank you very much. Uh, I think that if there's no any, any other challenge, we can just uh, put the hot seat. Any other broker, any, anyone else who want to maybe to share about yesterday or any broker, we can use maybe one minute. I think none. All right, thank you very much. So um, now new energy for new thing. No, I'm going to run uh, the hot seat. Hope you guys are ready. So let me check if the hot seat player of today is already here. I think he is. I will check one sec, one sec, one sec if you're here. And just open your video if you're able. Let me know. Or let me see you. Today we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got. Uh, Okay, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. Yes, he's here. All right, thank you very much, Ishak. Ishak Tadele. He's the hottest okay. today. How are you, Ishak? I'm fine, thank you. You're good, right? Are you ready for the questions? Yeah, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. We only have almost eight, eight or seven minutes. So let me see the questions in the chat box, like, very quickly, if you have a question, Ishak is ready to answer any question. So let's see. Thank you. I can yeah, stop the recording right now. <laughs>